Hey guys, welcome back to um, another vlog. So I'm starting this vlog on a Tuesday. Usually I would have uploaded one yesterday, but I didn't have any footage. Thought I did. I didn't. Here we are. So I'm doing this little guy. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see him. He's not focusing. Anyway, so he is a little um, gnome. I don't know what he is. Anyway, he's cute and he's for Christmas. He's just kind of for um, Instagram nails. I'm really like hyped up on doing those right now. So that's what I'm doing. I need a piece of paper out. I'm gonna fall off my chair. One of these days that is going to So I am using Glitterbell's uh, Creme Brulee. Got it from the Nail Throne. It is a colored acrylic, and it's one of those really nice colors. It's like a fleshy tone color. And I'm gonna use it for this little guy's like 3D nose. So I have my Glitterbell's, it's not marked, but it's the a 3D acrylic brush. And I get it from the Nail Throne as well. And if you guys want, my discount code is in the description box. Okay, I have not picked up any 3D acrylic in so long. What am I even doing? Oh, that should have been drier. But it wasn't, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna work with it. Should have been drier and it's 3D, so what are we gonna do? Wipe, wipe the brush, touch the bead, like move the bead into position. Wipe the brush, wipe the brush, wipe the brush, wipe the brush. I'm just patting it into place, wiping the brush. Patting it into place, wiping the brush. Patting it into place so it's not crooked. Wipe the brush. There, it's starting to kind of mattify now, so we're good. We good, all good. All right, I'm gonna give him a second to dry just to make sure that I don't need to. Sometimes when you think you're done, they need just another like push especially if it's a 3D bump like this, like a nose, sometimes they will need just another, just another little bump. So the only thing I need to decide now is if I want to outline the edge of his like coat or his shirt, his outfit, I don't know, because it is a light lilac-y color and the background is nude. So I'm just not sure. We'll see. I might softly line it black with just, I don't know. I did use an inspiration picture from NKNOGTI. I don't even know what that is, but oh, I'm clicking it to go to their profile and it's screenshot. So it's a, it's a repost by I'll try to type it up in here. I cannot say that, I have no idea. It's not even actually in English, but they gave a little tutorial for this little design and I thought it was cute and I thought it was something sweet um, to put on my Instagram. So we're we'll out with that. That says 3D as things are gonna get today. Sometimes I like to dabble in 3D acrylic and then you kind of, I kind of, I do anyway, I kind of lose touch with it and I kind of have to play around with it a little bit to get the groove again. So that's where I'm at because I do like to do some 3D nail art, not necessarily on clients simply because it takes so long, but just on my own um, to be able to showcase. And I think it's fun. I don't know where I was going with that. I was going somewhere with it, but anyway. Um, so filming today, might just actually film today. Might have enough today that I'm able to film. I put in a huge order with Canada Nail Supplies. Well, not huge, but I put in an order with Canada Nail Supplies yesterday because they have Upray, and I really wanted some more Upray tips. I don't normally order from them. Actually, I order from them about once a year, and it's when I want the Upray tips. I sent them an order, so I have a few things coming. My coworker and I went in on the order together because that just makes more sense. There's also another place that she orders from a lot and I order from very little. So when she's making an order through them, I tack on the things that I buy from them as well. It's like a win-win. We both get the stuff that we need and it's just easier. I email transferred 
her the total and she just sends it to me and that's that, right? That's about all I know right now. That's about all I can think of. I'm kind of lining up another uh, workshop right now, so that's fun. Just kind of trying to hammer down a date and a time with somebody, so we'll see how that goes. I'm sure it's gonna go just fine. She seems really eager, so that's fun. But anyway, I'm gonna finish this one up and I'm actually, I think I'm gonna do a couple and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I just finished putting the crystals on a set that I'm doing just for Instagram um, or just for the photos, just for the fun, really. Um, kind of getting into the swing of things of Christmas nail art. So, when it comes out of the light, I will show you what I came up with. I still have to top coat it and then I have to take the pictures of it, but I think I might try to get two or three ready to take photos of before I start with the photos. Um, that way you're just picture, picture, picture and changing out rather than, because it takes a lot for me to flop uh, pictures from my big camera over onto my iPad to be edited. So um, sometimes it's easier just to take the pictures all at once. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them. Don't mind my crunchy hands. So, this is the guy that I just did. So these three, sorry, go together. And then I'll do two more as accents for this guy. And then I might mix and match them a little bit. So basically they're going to be a photo of three. Um, I know that seems so odd and maybe nobody will like looking at that, but it's just easier than doing five. I feel like you almost always have if you're gonna do art like that on a client, you are probably going to leave two either plain color or next to plain color, like maybe a full glitter or whatever the case is. So it seemed a little like, why would I do five if two of them are gonna be plain? I don't know, I just picked up on, I've seen somebody else's, I'm sure, that only had three. I couldn't tell you who it was. And I thought it was cute, just the way the picture was laid out. So I thought I would do a couple of sets of nail art with just three. So I need to put my gemstones all back. So all of what I'm using for stones, like when you see me using stones like this, are uh, Swarovski and they are from Nail Art Supplies. I can see if I can link them down below. To be honest, I haven't seen them post a lot lately. Um, but the flat black, fat, flat back golden champagne, um, teardrop shape that is the biggest one there. That is from Kathy at AR Nail Supply and she has the, um, she has the Ugly Duckling gems and I don't know all the names of them just yet. Like I haven't really looked into them because I have so many crystals right now, but I think they're called Clear as Mud. The like the silver, the regular ones, I call them regular. Uh, they're beautiful, they're so amazing. So if you guys need crystals, check out Kathy at Air Nail Supply because she does have those Ugly Duckling crystals and they are amazing. And it comes, I was gonna say it comes with, it doesn't come with anything. Uh, she also has the Ugly Duckling Sticket. It comes in this little guy. It's worth it. Get it, get it all day long. It will last you forever, assuming you don't put crystals on every client, but it lasts forever. It's amazing. Um, one thing I can say, I see a lot of people posting online about this. If you get one and it looks a little uh, crystallized or it looks a little, cause it's essentially just a clear gel in a black pot, but sometimes it'll look a little white or a little crystally. Uh, if you warm it up a little bit, it totally turns back to what it needs to be and all's well in the world. Uh, cause mine was like that when I got it, but because I had seen it posted so many times, I knew what to do with it. Uh, so that was good. But I am going to do the other, set the other two that go along with the third and I'm also going to maybe it's early it's 10 30 but maybe eat a little bit of my lunch because I'm looking at the wrong day 
maybe eat a little bit of my lunch just because uh to get that out of the way probably not gonna have time for lunch tomorrow definitely don't have time for lunch on friday not entirely sure why i do that to myself but anyway um so yeah i'm gonna finish this up and then i'll probably talk to you guys a little bit later Hey guys, welcome back. It is, oops, it is a Saturday and I'm here for a couple of reasons. First of all, I wanted to finish off this vlog for you guys. Not finish off, continue recording. Second of all, I wanted to do my own nails. Okay. So I said I was gonna wait to do my own nails until I got my Canada Nail Supplies order because it has a prey, new prey tips in it that I really wanted to use, I really wanted to try, but I can't wait that long. I am picking, when I have nails on, I never pick, I never think about picking, I never, nothing, I never pick. When I don't have nails on, like I am wrecked right now. And I was sitting on the couch this morning, sorry if there's a lot of noise, it's really busy in here today. Um, I was sitting on the couch like, picking to the point of them being sore and I just basically like got up did what I needed to do and is like okay I'm going in I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna do it now I don't know if I'm gonna put any nail art on them I have used a couple of colors this week that I have fallen right in love with none of them are right there but I have a new glitter bells red so let's talk about this let's move the water um, I have a new Glitter Bells Red, a new Glitter Bells Silver in the gel polish, uh, Nail Throne link and discount code below. And every Friday she updates a sales section and it's amazing. So go check that out. Make sure every Friday that you are checking that because let me tell you. Where's my other one? I don't have... Oh, there it is. I don't have the new ones marked yet. Um, I'm not on the ball right now. I can't seem to get on the ball. Can't get on the ball. Uh, I've had these for like two weeks. I did not do a haul with you guys. I have not got them swatched yet on my swatch ring. I have not got the dots made yet. I don't know what's happening. We're just gonna pretend like it doesn't matter. I actually don't even have the foil off them. It's just busy right now, right? So the ones I have, I'll pop them up because I know it, the color just doesn't transfer sometimes. I have silver lining, um, which I'm really loving. I think that's gonna be a really great like winter, um, like with a light blue snowflake kind of color. I have fire engine, which you can imagine what that looks like and it's freaking amazing. I love it too much. I have marine, it's not open yet. Uh, okay, so I have this one. I have Stainless Shine, which is open. I love this color. So if if it's in stock, um, if it isn't in stock, it should be back in stock soon. I think she's doing a really big, um, got a really big order coming. Uh, I know they've had some inclement weather. Maybe that might affect it, I'm not sure. But Stainless Shine is, <clears throat> it is lovely. I have Blowout, which is another blue, and it's a lighter, Again, um, still have the foil on it. <laughs> I have Green Glory because I thought that would be really fun, like obviously this time of year, trees, Santa, that whole that whole thing. And I have, what is that called? Sugar Candy. So this is open because it's a bright pink and it's really quite lovely. So those are the newest. Yeah, those are the newest. Now my choices for me today are going to be, I think, between Fire Engine, Art, no art, not sure, and a couple of other Glitter Bells colors that I wanted to talk to you about, which would be... Okay, these are the three. So these are the three that I used the most this week. Uh, they were Mocha Rouge. As much as I want to do plain, I want to do art. <laughs> it's always the struggle. But I'm thinking thinking that what I might do is plain on these guys. So I've been doing some like art for some Instagram posts. Um, ooh, some of it is not necessarily client ideas, but some of it is. Like some of it, um, it just takes 
so long, right? It's just so time consuming. It would be like a two and a half hour set of nails. Um, and it would have to be kind of on the right length and shape because everything's kind of um, made for that length and shape. Uh, but some of them are client ideas. So I've got those laid out and I would like to do maybe a couple more sets. So what I thought I would do, like I still have, um, I still have these to use. So what I thought I would like to do is get enough of them made that I could do all the pictures at once because it does take a lot of work to set up for photos and um, I just ran out of steam just like that. Okay, so let's get these nails started. Let's get the pot started. Now, I do need to say that this is not a gel X tutorial. Do not do as I say. Do not do as I do. Do not do as I do. Although I think I'm following the instructions, but to be honest, I only skimmed them once. And no, I did actually read the instructions, but I don't always put them on in the, pro the proper way. So just don't take this as a like a prey um, gel X tutorial. Let's, let's just call this what it is. A nail tech doing her own nails in the easiest way possible to alleviate the cramps on the hands that you get when you do the nails the proper way. All right, so I'm getting out my light first. I guess it's still plugged in from the last time I did my nails. So this is my, this is my UV, little UV light. Now, I initially really wanted to clip it onto my desk and it doesn't, but it does clip onto my um, side table and it does, where I have my alcohol and acetone. And it also clips onto this my piece of marble that I set my monomer and stuff on. And it also clips on to my plexi, which is normally where I put it when I'm working on myself, but I kind of have you at a different angle, which changes the plexi. The plexi is, uh, the plexi is actually on the floor. We're just gonna work with that, it'll be fine. And I want my step one and step two, which is going to be my primer and my bonder. Choosing what color, or what color, words. I should have brought caffeine with me and I didn't. Or maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. I do have tea here. <sighs> Natural square long. Love them. They're just really hard to maneuver. Love the look of them, but I know I'm going to regret it when I'm wearing them. Uh, natural round medium. I'm loving those. That's what I've been wearing. And then I also have Sculpted Coffin Medium. Love these two. Love them for that sculpted lift. They have a really big apex on them, and I just love that look. But the Coffin, sometimes, even though they're a medium, so they're the same essential length as the round, which I keep calling oval, so if I do happen to do that, that is what I mean. They're the same length, but they're kind of clunky. And like, that's no fault of the tip. They're clunky because they have that on the end of them because they're coffin. So sometimes I try to explain that to clients every once in a while. And I think sometimes I don't get the right words when somebody's having, when somebody's really hard on their nails and like really hard physically on their nails. And then they want to change up their shape from like almond or oval to tapered square coffin. And sometimes I will tell them, yeah, you know, like absolutely we're gonna try it. But if you have any problems with them, it could be because we need to not wear a coffin on you. Sometimes coffin just can, it just really like slams into stuff because of that flattened edge. So what do I wanna do, what do I wanna do? This is always like the hardest part. Like do I want oval? Or do I want coffin? I don't know, I never know. Oh well, I'm just gonna do oval. Oval this time. Okay, so six. Get that back where it belongs. Put these away. I am going to get my tips prepped. And I'll be back. Captain, I'm on to you. We used to pay to my mom like 
Okay, so we've just started. I'm just gonna turn you a little bit so you don't see. That's like the front door through the window. So it's really distracting, I know, when people are coming in by the front door. Um, so I've just cured one layer of the, whatever it's called, <laughs> the Extend Gel Gel X Tip Adhesive Soak Off onto this hand. So now I'm going to do it onto the other hand. I'm really hoping that like, I really just wanted to wait for the new Gel X. What it is that I ordered, the reason why I really wanted to wait was um, I ordered the colored Gel X tips, the ones that are like the darker ones. What are they, what are they called? Anyway, I ordered those, so I'm super pumped about them. But I just couldn't go without nails for much longer, so. So here we are. So this week's vlog is not a long one. Story. I got all messed up on my filming. I filmed ahead and I had a bunch of stuff ahead and then I just fell behind and I'm not sure what happened, but it is creeping up on the holiday season and I feel like I didn't expect it to be extra busy and then it kind of ended up being. So it's like just being prepared to work those extra hours and do the extra clients, which is fine. It's just one of those things that sometimes YouTube has to take a back seat and I hate that. Um, I would really prefer uh, to be able to film every day and I'm gonna try really really hard in December to film a couple times a week like to be able to film like a couple vlogs a week anyway we'll see I'm throwing that out there into the universe and the universe is probably gonna throw it back and be like bitch please but anyway that's what I'm gonna try to do let's just carry on with this Welcome back. Okay, so I don't really know. I finished my nails, so I'm wearing Fire Engine from Glitter Bells and Luminary Matte Top Coat from The Nail Throne. Again, down below. So I've put the next three on. These are from Irena Pro Nail, um, and I would like to do one of the penguins that she has. I want to change them up a little bit, but I've been wanting to do a penguin, and she has pretty simple penguins. So I thought I might at least get the base coat on that, and then probably call it a day. It's 2.20, I'm hungry, um, and Molly's at home by herself. So uh, I'm going to, I think, do these. Thought I might take the pictures today, but I can't decide on a background, so I'm really not sure. Uh, sometimes it just ends up being a white background, and I don't know, like when I look on my own Instagram, sometimes I think, ugh, like I don't really like that white background. We'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> okay, so it's time to take the pictures of this week's holiday kind of nail post is here. It has a memory card in it. Sometimes it doesn't. You guys are on that set of lights. So I kind of need another light. It's gonna be in your way, isn't it? I kind of need another light for the pictures. We're gonna use this one. Sometimes I can't remember how to get everything turned on. We're gonna use this one and it's gonna stay there. So let's start with, I wasn't sure what to use for backgrounds. I've got a couple that I don't necessarily love. Although that doesn't really matter either, right? Like, just because I don't love them to look at them doesn't mean they're not gonna be perfect for the picture. So I'm going to try a couple of backgrounds. I do have some pastels, just pastel color backgrounds. Um, so I'm actually kind of low-key excited to try those. So I'm gonna get these first. I don't really at all love what that color does for these nails. I'm going to leave this background out and I'm going to take pictures of the other ones that I have to see if the background does it any more favors. Oh, I just got my dusty mitt all over that nail art. 
And then from here, I am going to go and get some food. I'm starving. I'm thinking about, I don't know about these. I'm thinking about uh, some sort of pizza, pasta, something from the grocery store. Our grocery store actually has a really good selection of like ready-made stuff. I don't know what maybe happened to the settings on this camera. Pictures aren't really taking like I want them to. So I'm going to take the pictures and put these just kind of low-key back on their stands and take them home and edit them and then come back and redo them because this isn't working out totally. Like it's fine, but it's not quite, I don't know if it's the lighting or the background, but I have some other background at home that I think I might want to use. So I'm going to get that background because there's no use in me taking 25 pictures of these today and then them not turning out. I'm going to take home the few pictures that I have. I'll edit them or throw them into the editor and see how they look. Sometimes they look totally fine compared to what you're seeing in the camera. Uh, so I'll mess with those and if they look great then I'll like leave this and continue on and if not then I'll get the other background and bring it but I hope you've enjoyed this video this vlog and if you have please give it a thumbs up please make the algorithms go the algorithms happy by commenting and I'll see you next time